Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm back with Ashley. So happy to have Ashley Aldridge uh, Haveford. Thank you so much for being here again, Ashley. Thank you for having me. So for those of you who are unaware, we had a whole first part, which I implore you check out. It's a very telling, exclusive interview we had with Ashley talking about Miss Jamie Lynn Spears and her ex, Casey, who is your brother. Correct, Ashley? Yes, that's right. And, and Casey is Maddie's father, who is the uh, Jamie Lynn's first child. And as we talked in great, pretty great detail, I implore you to go check it out. Uh, a lot of really frustrating stuff has been going down uh, between Jamie Lynn and your family. Jamie Lynn is not allowing you guys to have any involvement anymore in Maddie's life. And again, I, 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 would, I don't want to hide this in case people are just tuning in. To be fair, Casey has had some substance abuse problems in his past. He's definitely had some addiction issues, uh, but nothing, even according to Jamie Lynn in her own book, nothing that ever put Maddie at risk. Do you, do you ever feel like Maddie was at risk, Ashley, at sort of these, you know, uh, substance episodes that, that Casey has had? No, absolutely not. Maddie was never at risk whatsoever. I'd love to get a little bit more about sort of Jamie Lynn in general. Like, what was she... Uh, the first question I would ask, like, is, is she a liar? It just seems like everything she's saying seems to be lies. Is liar a fair word to use when defining Jamie Lynn Spears? Jamie Lynn Spears is a pathological liar. Yes. She lies about things that are important, and she lies about things that are not important. She literally is a pathological liar. <laughs> you said it so confidently. You get right. But I just know I've, I've known Jamie Lynn since she was 15, so, you know... I definitely know that confidently. I mean, one could argue, right? At, <laughs> no. fif at 15, it's easy to be like a mean girl, right? To have that sort of feeling. Do you, do you, I know you don't know her now as much, but seeing what you're seeing about her interviews and the conservatorship, this book now, do you get the same feeling that she's still that 15-year-old mean girl, even as a 30-year-old woman right now? Or do you feel like maybe she could have matured? What, what is your instinct and what you see? No, I'm feeling like I, I really... I really thought by now she would have matured, but she definitely has not. And when is it going to end? That's my question because it just seems like she just does the same thing over and over again, at least to us. And it's been going on for so long. So um, definitely not mature in my opinion. Now, this book, Things I Should Have Said, has caused up a whole you know storm for Britney and everything. Uh, the timing of it is just very questionable to me. Why now did she spe need to speak her truth? Uh, throughout the whole book and every interview that she's doing, she's really painting herself as the victim. Do you feel like Jamie is a victim in your eyes? Oh, my goodness, no. Jamie Lynn does not even know. It's almost offensive that she thinks that she's really had such such a hard life. To people who have actually had a hard life, she is she that that is offensive. I mean, okay, you got pregnant whenever you were fifteen, um, had the baby at sixteen, but you never had to worry about money, not one second in your of your life. You know, you you literally always had the world at your fingertips. So. I don't think that Jamie Lynn has had a hard life at all. I think she don't know what hard is. I mean, she's out there all she just complaining been. about everything. It doesn't even seem like she's ever really worked. She's, she keeps talking about her Zoe one on one days as an actress. I mean, she was like 11. Like, have, did you ever see her actually yes. like work a hard day's wage ever? Oh God, no, never. I've never, ever seen her. <laughs> I mean, like, Britney has even sort of called her a brat. Yeah, like, Britney called her a brat saying, like, she's just constantly yelling at her mom and getting served on. Is that sort of the, do you agree with Britney's take? Is that the vibe you get? Does she, one, just expect people to serve her? And was she also just mean to her own mother? Yeah, I'm, I've witnessed her be mean to her, her own mother um, on several occasions. And um, she is, she does have a mentality of, you're supposed to serve her or you're supposed to do what she wants to do uh, or what, how, how she wants it to be is how it has to be. And if not, you're going to pay for it, basically. What was Big Jamie like? Did you experience him at all with functions together? Like, did Casey get along with him? I heard through a source that he didn't, neither Lynn nor uh, Jamie were fans of Casey. 
was Casey a fan of them? Did Casey speak highly of them? Have you had experience with Lynn or Jamie? Well, Miss Lynn, I never knew that she wasn't a fan. She always acted like she just loved Casey and she wanted and she hoped that everything would work out with them. And, you know, no matter what happened, that she just wanted the best for Casey. That's all Miss Lynn ever told us. So that's news. That's news to me. But as far as um, Mr. Jamie goes, um, they did get into it a few times. It was just over his behavior because whenever he starts drinking, Mr. Jamie starts drinking, he he um, apparently, you know, uh, gets just a little bit crazy. So I think it was a couple of altercations happened because of that. Um, do you feel he's that, safe around? Do, do would you do you feel comfortable that he's around Maddie? No, I would rather him not be around Maddie at all. Especially after I heard what he did to Brittany's child. There's another person I've been wanting to talk about with you, and that's Miss Lou Taylor. Now, Miss Lou Taylor is a mysterious figure in the you know free Brittany world. Uh, a lot of people suspect mm-hmm. and speculate that she's sort of pulling the strings from afar. Uh, her Brittany's lawyer Rosengard has now put out a lot of documents implying that there was a lot of shady stuff going on with money management, moving around, properties being bought, things like that. There's a theory in the free Britney world that Miss Lou Taylor is sort of an orchestrator of all this. You know, we're speculating here. This is what a lot of people, you know, suspect. You were telling me something interesting when you 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 heard the stories from Casey directly. I don't know if you heard it yourself too, but Miss Lou was an integral part in Miss Jamie Lynn's life. Can you, can you touch upon that a little bit? Oh, my God. oh yeah. Miss Lou was like the one who made all of the decisions, whatever Miss Lou said that you needed to do is what you needed to do. And if Miss Lou called and said that you needed to do something different or, you know, then that's what you did. Um, I do have one example I thought of uh, whenever Casey and Jamie Lynn bought the house in Liberty. um, Casey wanted to go to, obviously he wanted to go to the house signing because they bought it with the money that they made off of the OK Magazine cover that they did for when Maddie was born. Mm -hmm. So he wanted, so they bought it together with the money that they both made. And Miss Lou told him that, he didn't need to go. Like she refused to let him go to the signing, uh, to the house signing. And whenever Jamie Lynn sold the house, we figured out why it was because they didn't even put it in Casey's name and he never got a dime from it. But Miss Lou was, uh, you know, orchestrating that. That's an example of, um, her power, I guess you would say. Was, she seems to have a lot of power. Financial stuff was the main thing that, or at least that I overheard, you know, going on is that they would talk about. Um, I know the house that Jamie Lynn and Maddie moved into in Nashville. It was uh, Miss Lou wanted them to live in that house. So they had to go live in that house. You know, and it's just like, you're just not supposed to question that that's just the house that you're. So I don't really understand that situation. I just, I just knew that Miss, I just, everyone pretty much around knew that Miss Lou was the one that you go to if you needed to figure something out. She was not just Jamie Lynn and Casey. She was handling their dad's money, their mom's money, Brittany's money. She was handling everybody's money. Uh, but you never you never got any sense that there was something sketchy, just that she was in control. No, I wouldn't say sketchy. I would just say I thought she was overly controlling. And it seemed like at times uh, other people thought she was overly controlling as well. But they put up with her anyway. And I don't know why. But they just loved Miss Lou. Interesting. They love Miss Lou. People even this year speculating, saying, "Oh, well, Jamie Lynn must be paying Casey, you know, uh, cuss, you know, spousal support." But that year, that never happened. Jamie Lynn never paid Casey. No, and that 
That definitely never happened. I'm sure, no, that, I've never even heard that, but they were never married, and you don't just pay people support whenever you are um, just boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't know where they're getting that from. You, you know what I mean? Right. They never actually got married. She put off the wedding at a certain point. Uh, broke up and then immediately yeah. with a new guy. But so because they never got married, just because he was the father, he wasn't on the hook. Instead, he was on the hook to pay the child support. But then they used that right. to sort of get the full custody. And then they I were like, so. see ya. He, he never saw a dime at any of it. Right. And then they're making, I mean, that's just so frustrating. They they make that money. He's the father. It takes two of them to tango and have that child. So that, okay. Do you know how much right. of that money was for the OK Magazine approximately? Do you remember? Oh, God. How much was that? Oh, we had to sign some kind of agreement on that. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you or if that expires or not. But it was a large amount of money. Uh, I will tell you it was a large amount of money. Yeah. Okay. I don't sure. want to get you in trouble, but it was a large amount of money. And did Casey end up getting any of that money? Uh, I don't know about any of it, but I know he didn't get any off of the house whenever... Whenever Jamie Lynn decided to move to Nashville. Lou Taylor really seems to be good at just taking that money from everybody else and putting it in other places. I mean, did you get that vibe? Do you see why fans might be like making obviously speculation? I don't want to get you or me sued. But, uh, you know, when you it sounds like she was there through a lot of these big decisions. Did you ever get a vibe that like something's up with that? Could you could you even have any idea that that maybe was some big criminal enterprise potentially happening where they were sort of siphoning all these uh, funds and buying up land? Is, is that something you could have guessed? No, I never would. I never, I never would have guessed that. I mean, but I did get a sense of Miss Lou had a lot of control. I didn't understand why she had so much control, but I knew that she had a lot of control. And I knew that she would pop up at important times. So that told me that, um, you know, she had even more control over decisions, maybe decisions and money. But that is pure speculation on just what I saw in my short time. So. Pure speculation. A lot of this is speculation. We're all, it's obviously her point of view, but it's still a lot of guessing. So. All of that should be said through everything that Ashley's saying. I just want to protect her here. But, you know, again, I, I want to speculate a little bit more because there's a lot of theories that Lou Taylor's like this criminal mastermind. And we don't we don't know for sure. I'm not trying to accuse her of it. But the question is, what did Jamie Lynn know? Right. Jamie Lynn's out there saying she never took a dime, even though we've caught her actually signing forms, proving that she was trying to siphon funds elsewhere. Do you think Jamie Lynn has it in her to to really have been a mastermind behind this whole thing as you step back now and see what they've been doing to Brittany, like, and knowing Jamie Lynn, the way you do, does it surprise you? Or do you, do you see anything that be like, no, I totally think Jamie Lynn knows more than you guys know. Like, again, this is speculation, but what does your gut say there? Do you think these two are in cahoots and there's, there was something all along to sort of just keep taking money and work off Brittany's hard work? Yeah, for sure. I think Jamie Lynn definitely has it in her to do that to Brittany. And I think that she would do it in a heartbeat. What makes you say that? Like, what in your experience with her, like, puts you there? Just the way she treats people. She doesn't have the conscience that she's supposed to have. She doesn't, or, or that you're, that you're morally supposed to have, in my opinion. And it just would not put, it would not surprise me at all. I mean, she's greedy. She's very greedy. No money is enough money. Money, power, access, that's the type of stuff that Jamie Lynn Spears requires to live. It's As I was sort of joking as I read the book, it's like she needs attention to survive. Is that a, is that a fair she assessment? She feeds off of those things. Yes, she feeds off of those things. She literally, she needs people to like her. She needs people to um, give her that attention. She wants people to feel sorry for her for, for some reason. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know what it is, but she's, she does have that de that desperate need 
for all of those things. And I think that her, that's where a lot of her greediness comes from too, because she ta- it takes money to be in the spotlight like she wants to be in the spotlight. With the relationship with Casey, as she's sort of bad-mouthing Casey and painting him as this deadbeat who's never around, how did she treat Casey? Was she a, a good partner? I mean, would she be nice to him? Was she being patient with him? Oh, no. She um, physically abused Casey on several different occasions, and she was very rageful, very... She would, she would get angry anytime she didn't get her way. I'm sure she'll um, just deny that. I mean, it, Kate, so she, Kate, she was she was the aggressor with Casey. That wasn't he never did that. I mean, she never accused him of that. But, you know, for a fact that, yes, there were incidents where Jamie Lynn was coming after Casey in that regard. Yeah. She hit him with a lamp one time. Um, she got mad at him at um, Brittany's condo in Destin, and she hit him with his belt several times. Um and then was it because he was using was there heads. like cheating like what was there could there have been a I mean, there's never a justification in it but do you have any idea what triggered it i don't even remember now i don't even i honestly don't I'm, it's just a i don't think it was anything huge i think it was just regular fights fighting about whatever but um she it just turns dark very fast yikes I mean, what's so crazy, and we talked about it a little bit in the first one, but there's such a parallel between Jamie, who actually has right these substance issues, who now has a restraining order against his own grandkids, and yet it seems like Jamie Lynn's is defending her dad, and her dad needs to be there. It's her dad, but now with Maddie's dad, it's sort of some weird, different story. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, Lynn made a comparison in her own book about these two, right, about Casey and Big Jamie. Why do you think she thinks it's okay for her dad, but Maddie's no, you're not allowed to see your dad anymore. Yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever. It's just not okay. It's just 100% hypocritical. And um, I don't understand it at all. I would love to hear her her excuse for for how she justifies that. I mean, she's clearly watching this. She's got. She's clearly watched these things. I'm sure Lou and all of them are watching. So you have them paying attention. What would you say to her right now? As we wrap this up and you get your what you need to say out, you put this Facebook post out there. You want her to get the truth out there. Jamie Lynn's getting her truth. You're getting the truth out. What, what do you want to say to her now that you have the spotlight and they're paying attention? <laughs> oh, my God. The main thing that I would say to her right now is how could you take not only the time that you've taken away that we've lost with Maddie, how could you just take that from us? And 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 not only the time, but the relationship, because she ruined the relationship by ripping her out of our lives and, and whatever she told her. And I just want to say, how could you? How could you? Do you? I wish you, that you could feel the same pain and see the tears that we've cried over this child. You know, and but I know that I could say anything to Jamie Lynn, and it would not matter. Jamie Lynn just doesn't realize that she does wrong, or if she does, she will never admit it. But that's what I would say to her. How could you? She always talks about how much she yeah. loves her sister and how you know she cares. Do you believe she cares about Brittany? No, I absolutely don't believe she cares about Brittany. She's always uh, talked about Brittany as if Brittany was aggravating to her. Uh, wow, that how so? What's I'd love to hear more of that. Yeah, she um, she would just say stuff like, "I hope Brittany doesn't make a scene." Um, you know, they gave her her medicine, so maybe she won't act crazy. So wait, they were giving her mm-hmm. medication. This is what, 2008? So this was the beginning of the conservatorship. This was around some of the, what they call the meltdown behavior. But clearly, Brittany was struggling. She was going through a lot. And you're telling me they were, so Jamie Lynn was aware and saying, I hope she's on her meds. So she's. So she doesn't cause a scene in her baby shower. Oh, God. She, she didn't want her baby shower to be disturbed. 
as if Britney was some crazy lunatic who was going to do that at her baby shower. Did you get that vibe that Britney was crazy, like Jamie Lynn was saying? No, I didn't at all. And I actually got the vibe that bro- that broke my heart, honestly, because she was she. Britney seemed so sad. She just seemed so so sad. And um, to the to this day, but you could tell she was trying to play it. You know, she was trying to play it off a little bit. She was still trying to be supportive and be there for her sister, but she seemed really, really sad. And to this day, I I still wish I would have, you know, asked her, is she okay? Is something wrong? But you don't think that people are literally, you know, doing this kind of stuff. I mean, I never would have thought that they were behind what all they've done to Brittany. You know what I mean? But I I wish I would have at least tried to figure it out because I had a feeling that something wasn't right, but I had no idea what wasn't right. That makes sense. No, I mean, I don't think any of us really knew the extent of how awful and just criminal and and crazily it's turning out to be. It's it's horrifying. It's heartbreaking, all that stuff. Mm. Uh, I'm curious. I mean, but Casey yeah. wasn't around. He wasn't really at that point. He was sort of dealing with his own demons and trying to, to wrestle them, too. Um, so you don't really have much. I don't want to you know get too into that because I know you weren't an expert on it. But as, as a person bystander, clearly knowing Jamie Lynn. Even even that all to su- surprise you. you didn't see that kind of evil in Jamie Lynn you you didn't like her she was a brat maybe but you never sensed that she could be involved in some sort of big scheme like that you're pausing <laughs> really really so I mean some people do do you, a lot of people think she was instrumental in it I mean what is your instinct as knowing her and oh. what she did to Casey do you think there's a more evil approach behind it all and that Jamie Lynn is behind more than she wants to say. Oh yeah. I think she's, she, I think she is definitely, if she's not behind it, she knows, she knows every single thing. I guarantee you, she knows everything about it, whether she did it or not. I know that. I I mean, I don't know that, but I, I, that's what I think. I, but I don't know how far she would take it. Uh, I don't put it past her, though. I really don't. Sadly, I don't put it past her. It seems like a lot of people are afraid to sort of speak up and say that. But do you know others like with that sort of a common theme about people speaking behind Jamie Lynn's back? If, if you knew the real if you know the real Jamie Lynn, you're, you, you won't like her. You know, that's just if people don't like you, they're going to talk about you. If you treat people like she treats people, then they're not going to like you. So that's where she's at right now. And everything's I guess catching up with her at one time and she seems like someone who just desperately wants everyone to like her which is the irony of it all right yeah um she's trying to hold on to that mask I think she's a narcissist and she has a mask on and it's slowly slipping away and she's really trying to make sure that she keeps up the appearance that she wants and the life that you know she wants it to look like but i don't think it's going to happen this time because she's got too many people that are actually coming out and telling the truth about some of the messed up things that she's done in her lifetime and karma is here i guess it's just so sad for maddie like i I hate to speak for her children it's not i don't want to get them involved in this at all but She's put her children out there. It's so weird. She, she, it really feels like she sort of uses her kids as props and a shield when she needs to. Leave my kids alone. Leave my kids alone. But, oh, check out my kids. I'm such a great mom. She does this a lot. And then it's like she writes a whole book exposing her daughter's dad. And then sort of like I, I imagine she's going to be pissed at you for even being out here or me having this whole thing. But your brother has a right to speak too, right? And Maddie should have the truth out there. And hopefully at some point, the reason I wanted to do this with you is at some point when she's old enough, I hope she can look this up and see this. Is that, is that your hope that one day it seems like Jamie Lynn's not going to do it, but is that your hope someday that maybe at least putting the truth out there, Maddie can make up her own decision. And do you think that karma is going to finally hit Jamie Lynn someday? Yeah, that's that's definitely my hope and prayer that I that one day Maddie is going to figure out the truth. And this is one of the things that she's going to be able to pull up, you know, as evidence that 
you know, her daddy did not abandon her. We have not forgotten about her. And um, I definitely think that uh, at some point in time, she's going to see who her mom really is. And she's going to need us at some point. Just, I just need her to know that we will be here no matter what and that none of this is her fault, you know? Well said. I mean, it, the parallels between Casey and Jamie might be there, but it seems very clear as well that the parallels between Jamie Lynn and Lynn are also there. She admits that she's had some troubles mm -hmm. with her mom and her mom sort of never really doing the right thing. It does seem like sometimes we do become our parents and knowing how much trouble she's having with her own parents, it's just shocking to just see that she doesn't even fathom this, that what she's doing to her own daughter is not right. Sure. Casey hasn't been perfect. I don't, I, uh, yeah. Casey clearly shouldn't have full custody at this point. He's got to work on himself, but it's, her, she's, you know, he's her dad. And if he wants to be there, what you're saying right. he does, that's a hard thing to ignore. So I, I feel for you guys. I, 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 I thank you for speaking up. It, it, it's, it's painful to see it here. Uh, and, and, and getting more insight behind the real Jamie Lynn from the people who knew her and have been, experience this stuff it's really alarming but any final thing you want to say to, to jamie lynn or to anybody watching as we wrap this up no this has been pretty hard to talk about but i really appreciate you helping me out get this helping all of us get this out there and um that's all i really have to say i think well, look, I appreciate your strength and bravery coming forward. And uh, again, everything Ashley's talking about is her opinion, her points of view, her you know take on things. She's been there. She's the sister of Casey. So take that as you will. Jamie Lynn, everybody else trying to make us think about this. But just as you said, Jamie Lynn, she has a right to have these experiences, these feelings, this truth. Uh, so I applaud Ashley. I applaud you for stepping forward and sharing it. I hope you feel a little better getting this off your chest and I hope audience, you will send some Thank love. You. If you see Ashley on Facebook, uh, <laughs> saying some more rants about this, throw her a like and a heart so she can uh, know that she's got some support out there because it doesn't look like she's going to get it from the Jamie Lynn camp. Uh, wonderful speaking to you, Ashley, come back. If you ever need to add anything else to this, really appreciate this time with you okay. guys. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, Thanks hit the you. bell for all alerts, smash the like button, all that jazz, leave a comment down below uh, and help get the word out on this. And uh, again, to, to Jamie Lynn, to her kids, I'm not trying to stir up drama here. I just want all sides to be heard. I just want the truth to be shared. And that's really what the goal of this was. Again, this was allegedly all from Casey's sister. Uh, take that as you will. Uh, but if Casey ever wants to come on, you're more than welcome, Casey. I will treat you with respect and we'll hear your side of things. Heck, Jamie Lynn, come on the channel. Let's hear it directly. Why are you only going to friendly places? Let's have it out. Maybe you can smooth this out with the fan base by finally <laughs> coming and answering some questions. Think she'd ever have the guts to show up here to actually take on the tough questions, Ashley? No. She's not coming there. <laughs> so I shouldn't hold my breath. All right, well, <laughs> Jamie Lynn, the invite is always there, uh, but I, I'm with Ashley. I don't think she has the guts to show up. Man. But hey, surprise us, Jamie Lynn. Uh, but there you go. Wonderful conversation. Thanks so much for sharing it. Guys, stay tuned for more. If you missed part one, I'm going to put it right there. Uh, or check out these other videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet.